here in Korea, most high school seniors and graduates took the annual college entrance exam today. Our An Songjin went out to see and talked to some of the test takers about how they felt after the long day. Students began to pour out after the nine hour marathon. The National College Entrance Exam, also known as Sunung, had come to an end. It's been a long journey for these test takers who finished with relief, concern, or excitement. I think it was a bit easy overall. It's out of my hands now. I'm just going to play basketball all day. I'm happy that the exam is over. I just want to have fun with my friends now. This year, more than 520-thousand students took the test at nearly 1,300 test-taking centers across the country, which is nearly 20-thousand more than last year. And this year saw the highest number of people retaking the test in the past 21 years. It's the first Sunung since the expansion of the medical school admissions quota, and as more students are expected to apply to med school, this may have led to the increase in test-takers this year. With these extra students, competition was expected to be more intense, with more difficult questions to separate them. However, the head of the examination committee said otherwise. Based on data starting from last year, we tried to adjust the difficulty of the test, especially for test retakers. We also completely excluded killer questions or the more difficult questions and tried to distinguish test takers through materials from public education. Starting off with the Korean language, the exam continued with math, English and elective subjects. On the day of the test, most government offices and some companies pushed back their working hours to 10 a.m. And the Seoul Metropolitan Subway increased the number of trains running from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Test results will be out on December 6, but until then, now that the Sunung is over, these test takers can relax and enjoy the various discounts being offered to them, recognizing their hard work and effort. An Sung-jin, Arirang News.